If you haven't seen the last video in the series, click the card on the top right to watch it. Other than that, enjoy the video. Okay, so getting straight to it, you may notice that in this iJob tutorial class, I have this empty. And that is because we're going to be working with the iJob4 interface. So this job system is meant to iterate over multiple objects. It's, it excels at that. So first we're going to remove this. We don't need this for loop anymore. We have to keep in mind that I'm going to be iterating over it 100,000 times. And we're going to put a variable in here in the function called i, which is basically the index that it is iterating over. So now how do we schedule this? So it's pretty simple. You just do job handle and then dependency. This is going to be our dependency. And since we do not need any dependencies for this job, we just do new job handle, the default. Now we need to create a schedule dependency. And the way we do that is job handle schedule dependency equals. And before we continue on, we have to create an instance of our expensive calculation job. So we're going to do expensive calculation, calculation equals a new expensive calculation. And now we do calculation, right? We've moved this down over here, calculation dot schedule. And in here, we're going to put in our array length and it's going to be a hundred thousand. And our dependency is going to be our default dependency that we created above. Now below this, we're going to create another job handle and it's going to be our schedule parallel and put job here. And right after that, it's going to be calculation that schedule parallel. And our array length is once again, 100,000 and our inner loop batch count. So depending on the amount of work that you have on your job, um, for this job, I'm going to be doing a lot of work, 100,000 iterations. So if there's a lot of work, then stick to a batch count of one. If there isn't much work, well, depending, it's either going to be 32 or 64 or even 128. That depends on your workload. If there's less work, then increase the inner loop batch count. If there's more work, decrease it. And since we're doing 100,000, I'm going to use an inner loop batch count of one. And now our dependency is going to be our schedule dependency. And there we scheduled our parallel job and now we can go ahead and complete it. Scheduled parallel job dot complete. And that is basically how you create an iJob4 and how you, how you create one and how you schedule one and how you complete it. So why am I using iJob4 and not iJob Parallel 4, which is the other one that many people have covered? Well, it's because according to a post on the matter, someone from Unity Technologies may, uh, talked about how iJob Parallel 4 will soon be deprecated and that iJob4 has more of the up-to-date features. So that's why I'm going to be using this instead of iJob Parallel 4. Okay, so now if we go back into the Unity editor and we pay attention to the profiler, we hit run and we're not using the job system. And if we just pause it at a certain frame here, and you'll notice that it is running this, the whole calculation is running on a single thread. But now if we hit use job system and instead of the job running on another thread, looping over 100,000 times, if we go over here, we can see that it is now running in parallel. All of the expensive calculations, the workload is split amongst the worker threads that we have available for a computer and a little bit on the main thread right here. And it is running it all in parallel. All right, and that is it for this video. In the next video in the series, I'm going to be focusing on iParallel4 transform which multi-threads the movement of transform objects, which is extremely useful. And until then, I will see you in the next video of this series, and goodbye.